All right, right now I'm just waiting for the temp to uh, reach up to 100 degrees. I chilled it down to 100, but it overshot. Um, this allows me to kind of dial in the heat. You don't want it too strong where it goes over 100, um, and you don't want it too weak to where it can't maintain the temperature. Uh, it is 28 degrees in this room at the moment. I don't know if that's getting picked up. There we go. It's very cold, so um, it's kind of taking a while, and I want to make sure it's dialed in because of the temperature difference. So uh, before I pitch the probiotics, I don't want to, you know, ruin it. But I did pre-acidify the wort. Uh, it was about 5.4 um, after the mash. I lowered it down to about 4.5, um, and you know, then the the probiotics will do the rest. <music> with uh, 2.5 PSI. Uh, we'll take this, uh, we'll approach this tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know what I mean by approach tomorrow. We'll come here tomorrow, we'll take a pH reading, we'll see if this is ready to uh, boil off or not. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> so I wanted to get what this looks like before the boil gets kicking. Um, we have milky. And it straight smells like pineapple. Can't wait. Just a 15 minute boil for this beer just to kill off the lacto and no hops were harmed in this beer. All right, so we are chilling the beer. Unfortunately, it's very slowly because a spigot that's connected to the house is frozen. After five days of fermentation, the gravity was at 1.019 and that's when I added the fruit, which I let condition for 10 days before crashing and kegging. Hello, hello, it's been a while. And I also just over poured my beer a little, but it's all good. So there we are. Is that coming in? There we go. Looks pretty good on the screen. <laughs> all right, so <clears throat> I don't have a name for this beer yet, um, but it's a 5.4% fruited Berliner Weiss. Um, very, very tart, uh, finished off, uh, well, before fruit, it was about 2.88 pH, according to my pH meter. Um, it might be a little off, to be honest. I did calibrate it, though. Um, and when I added fruit, it actually raised the pH uh, to about 3.07 or 3.15. I got two different uh, readings, so somewhere in between there, which is very tart. So definitely a uh, very tropical fruit uh, smelling, kind of smells like a mixed drink. Kind of like that uh, sort of dank mango, um, definitely peaches, mostly peaches actually. Yeah, very, very tart. Um, light, not a, a hell of a lot of sweetness, but there's some up front. Again, yeah, mostly like the peach comes first and then a little bit of mango. Pineapple is almost not there whatsoever. Um, I thought I had more than I actually did. Um, I thought I had a couple more bags in my freezer, uh, but I still used the one pound that I had. Why not just toss it in there? But 
Yeah, so <clears throat> my last hour was 7.2%. And uh, try to focus on the beer instead of me. My last uh, sour was 7.2%, which was really good, crushable uh, in a dangerous way. Um, but after two, you know, you, you felt like you couldn't really drink much more. So that's why I made this beer. I wanted it to be a little bit um, more approachable, uh, something uh, more sessionable. I've been kind of going with lower ABV uh, beers lately. Um, fairly well carbonated. I uh, was trying to go for, again, like I said, Berliner Weiss. Um, there's no hops in this whatsoever. Uh, the pH balances out the sweetness rather than hops. Uh, and because it's so tart, that's wh where the balance comes. But I mean, the minute you take a sip, you just want to take another sip. It's, it's that kind of uh, sour where it just... You can never quite uh, quench the thirst. Yeah, not much I would change about this beer, really. Um, I, if I didn't mention in the video, uh, the fruit definitely had more to give. Um, after I transferred the beer and opened up the fermenter, it looked like the fruit had barely been used, even though it was aged for 10 days. Um, part of that had to do with the fact that it was sliced peaches. Um, when I opened up the bag, I was surprised. I, I, I should have noticed, uh, it, it did say it on the package, but for whatever reason, I thought it was diced, uh, like the mangoes were, and the pineapple. Um, so in the future, I would uh, process them a little bit further, uh, make them smaller, you know, more surface area, so the beer uh, extracts flavor uh, better. But still came out killer. Definitely happy with the result. Um, I think going in the future, I would try to uh, <clears throat> go somewhere in between, you know, not quite 7.2, but a little bit higher than 5.4 as well. Um, it does lack a little bit in the sweetness. I wish there was a little bit more. Um, the body is pretty light, obviously. I mean, it is 5.4. Um, and even with the lactose, uh, it's a 1.013 finishing gravity. So there's a little body there, but it is uh, definitely on the lighter side. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to keep this one short. I just wanted to, um, you know... Put some content out there. I do have uh, about three more videos coming up soon. I've been brewing my ass off lately, actually. Uh, finally getting into the swing of things again. So, um, yeah. Hopefully, I'll have another one out next week. Hopefully. <laughs> Anyways, thank you uh, very much for watching. I appreciate it greatly. No amount.